What's up guys, it's Marky Boy Six here and I'm back with my next Spyro Let's Play for you and today we are going to go through the homeworld Summer Forest after half completing Glimmer last time. We get lives which are just colourful butterflies trapped in jars. There's another one. Still got sheep for health. Sparrow can go in water. In this game, which is a pretty good addition, I think. However, you can't swim underwater yet. That's a ability that will be learnt later on. Cheap. No, I think that's everything here, so let's talk to Elora. Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. Alright, that's our target then. Let's go down here. We've got frogs as well. Just happily plod around. Is that everything? Right, we've got up here. And he's Hunter. Hiya Spyro, Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press X to jump, then press X again while you're still in the air to glide. Pretty simple concept. Glide. No hardship there. Alive. This is one level, Idle Springs. I'm so kind of killing all the wildlife. Oh, 25. First 25 of the game. Alright, let's talk to money bags. Uh, uh, sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Okay, so it costs 500 gems. However, we do not have 500 gems, so yeah. Zoe. Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Yeah, know that already, but... Here is the next level we will be doing. Not yet, though. And the, n the other half of this, of Summer Forest, is down there. But because we can't swim yet, because we can't afford it, we can't go there yet. So this will be a two-parter as well. Right, so let's go up here and talk to Hunter again. He's going to teach us how to glide and stuff and hover. Hi Spyro, you look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. 
Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. Now he's got he's really simple, you just jump. That's it. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press X to jump, then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Yeah, he already taught us how to do this. Nice job! Now try to do a hover. Press X to jump, then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, press triangle to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Okay. To be honest, you, if I, I could have not hovered, then I would have made it. Very good! Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick when you hover. Yeah. yeah. Wow! You're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, now, here's an orb for your collection. And we get an orb for this very simple task. Three orbs. And yeah, we're up here now. So, let's go back down again. And that's the end of Summer Forest for now, all life again. So I'll just show you the guidebook, I think. You have the guidebook, which is basically the inventory thing from the first one. So you can click on a level, it tells you what orbs you have. Um, and it tells you what for tells you how many gems you have whether you've got the talisman etc same for the home world really haven't done that much for South Forest and there is a new talisman seems to lag quite a bit when it goes through there but anyway, so leave a like if you deserves a like, please subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment if you've got anything you want to say, and next episode, we shall do Colossus, which is, because I would do Idle Springs over there, but you actually need to swim in it, so I can complete this level in one, and then I can complete Idle Springs in one, because we will be able to buy the underwater swim. So thanks for watching guys, bye!